In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for nickel plus hydrochloric acid. So first off, this reaction takes place very slowly, and you're probably going to need to use concentrated hydrochloric acid. But let's write the net ionic equation. So the first thing we do, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see I have one hydrogen here and two here. So let's put a two in front of the HCl. Two hydrogens and two chlorines. That's good, we have two chlorines here and we have one nickel on each side. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Nickel, that's a metal, it's just gonna be a solid. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, so that's gonna be aqueous. It'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Chlorides, very soluble, should be aqueous as well. And then H2, that's hydrogen gas. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. We can't split nickel apart, it's just nickel. It's a solid, so we're going to leave it Ni. I'll write the states later. Hydrogen in group 1 is 1 plus, and the ionic charge on the chloride ion, that's 1 minus. Two hydrogen ions, 2H plus, and two chloride ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, Nickel is a transition metal, so we don't know its charge. We do know the chloride ion, 1 minus. Since we have two of them, it has to be 2 plus. So we have the nickel 2 ion, Ni2 plus. Then we have two of these chloride ions. Then we don't split gases apart in net ionic equations, so we have H2. At this point, we have what's called the complete ionic equation. We can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So as we look at this, the only thing that's the same on both sides, here in the reactants, we have two chloride ions, and in the products. So we can cross these out. These are our spectator ions. So once we do that, we have the net ionic equation for Ni plus HCl. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for nickel plus hydrochloric acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 times 1 plus, so we have it 2 plus on the reactants, and then in the products we have a 2 plus. Charge is the same on both sides. If you count the atoms up, they're the same as well. This is Dr. B with a net ionic equation for Ni plus HCl. Thanks for watching.